Hello my fellow comic book collectors. Uh, this is going to be a bit of a special video for my Wednesday Q&A video. <laughs> um, I only received one question, I'll get into that in a second. Um, but this is Alan, the Comic Collector Geek, and um, on Wednesdays, which is today, <laughs> I usually do like my Q&A videos. And what I do is I answer your questions, and you can ask me questions in the comments below. Uh, but this week I only got the one question. So the question is, um, could you show your Airboy comics? And this was from Bigby uh, McFly, the comic guy who wrote that question. And I'll show my Airboy comics, but I'm gonna do something a little bit special after. Okay, so first I'll show the Airboy comics, which are great, actually, you should stay tuned. Um, my, one of my favorite covers is actually one of these Airboy ones. Uh, so this is uh, Airboy Comics, um, I forgot what, it's like, they always had some weird volume something something and something, <laughs> you know, it's like, but it's, uh, it doesn't say, so it's not, I forgot what issue it is, uh, but it's just a really great cover. Uh, I love it because it's like, you know, you got the woman on the propeller, <laughs> and uh, this is her boyfriend actually, uh, and he's about to, uh, that's Airboy, um, and he's about to take off and uh you know uh he's allowed to take off but he's blindfolded so he doesn't know that he's going to potentially kill his girlfriend in the process so kind of a great a great cover uh so that's the first one and then we got air fighters which is also kind of an air boy title uh air air fighter comics um this is volume two number eight uh yeah. So another Airboy cover. Um, Airboy actually, I believe, made his first appearance in Air Fighter comics. Uh, and another character that made their first appearance in Airboy comics is uh, Valkyrie. And this is her first appearance right here. Air uh, Air Fighter comics, volume two, number two. And this is really great cover for that. Now these were all golden age books, but I actually have some more modern uh, Airboys. And this is a classic cover, actually, even though it's a modern book. This is Airboy number five from 1986. And this is a Dave Stevens cover. And it's, it's kind of like uh, recreating that original golden age book. I'm not sure if you can see that. Hopefully you can see it, there we go. You can see how it's Dave Stevens uh, you know, recreation of the, the cover, but his is a bit more sexy. I kind of, I actually like the Dave Stevens one better. Uh, it's just really great. So that's, and we have one that's kind of, not really an homage to that, but it's um, uh, Air Fighters number one. This is another Airboy cover, uh, comic. Again, another modern one. This is from 2010. And that's my Airboy collection. I actually have a few other raw ones, but uh, those are the, the main Airboy comics that I have. Now, this next part of the video is uh, probably the more interesting, maybe, um, where I'm going to do a room tour. I'm gonna actually take you through the room and show you how it's laid out, and um, hopefully you'll enjoy that. Um, so yeah, we'll get started. Okay. So so this is the, <laughs> so you, that's where I was sitting when I was uh, recording the video. I had my little stand that's on, sitting on a Funko Pop. <laughs> that's how I, that's how I, that's my professional setup. My uh, it's like a desk where I kind of work. Have my uh, box opener and uh, my Funko with uh, my stand on it, and then my light source in behind. And then I have some books that I'm just sort of organizing. Uh, from the last unboxing. And then up here, I have kind of my um, police, a little police comics collection. That's police comics number one, uh, Plastic Man number one, and then uh, police comics 96, which I just showed in yesterday's video, or maybe two days ago when you're watching this. And um, these are some other books. And so the way it works is I put comics in front and like little, my little Vampirella as well. 
Um, but in behind are more comics. So I'll have like, this is all golden age. And each box contains about two to 300 um, raw books of golden age books. And there's like two, four, six, and eight, just in that one little section <laughs> of, of uh, the d desk area. And then you'll see that I have another whole bunch of boxes. And I haven't put comics in front yet. I'm gonna do that later. I'm gonna gradually kind of lay it out a bit better. Uh, but you can see all the boxes. Uh, the first section is all golden age. And then this, the, the second section is more um, modern and uh, key books, but uh, just uh, not golden age. Um, up top, I just put some of my favorite uh, um, cartoon character books. My Tally Ho, that's the first Fazetta. I'll kind of zoom in on it a bit here. We'll walk over to it. And we got the first Casper the Ghost. And so this is like a little niche. And I have some, you can see I even have slabs. And there's more slabs in behind as well. Uh, so I'm trying to, you know, use different areas. And then this next area, I'll sort of walk back a bit so you can see it a bit better. I have like all my comic supplies in that uh, storage unit. I put some raw books on the floor just to hide it a bit. Um, and then I have some more uh, uh, long boxes. Those are like those are like slider long boxes that you can slide in. And then I have uh, some couple short boxes on top. And then all my Slave Girl and Wonder Comics. And then in behind I have some more Good Girl Arts slabs. And then in there is uh, here. I'll actually go in. So this will be a bit of a through the looking glass thing. Oh, so this is um, sort of more some of more adult stuff, um, uh, but also some of my Disney stuff. It's kind of a weird mix. It's like it's some adult related books, and then like uh, uh, Disney. <laughs> it's a really weird mix. So I have all my zombie tramps, and uh, you can see all my. You know, just different things. Um, so yeah, so this is like my little storage area for certain books. And then I'll, zoom, I'll come back out. And then I'll show you some more. Then this section, we got the Donald Duck. That's the first Donald Duck. Then my Sensation Comics. Then some Soti books. And then my terrifying tales, it's just mixed in there. And then sitting like like almost like a stack of slabs. These are all slab boxes. And I kind of have them labeled. So this box, for example, right there in the middle is all my Fantastic Four. The black box is sort of golden age slabs. It's just like a little bit of a mix of stuff. And then now, this is the wall that you guys always see behind me. Hopefully you can see. You can see my Wonder Woman, my first Wonder Woman number one. It's a little bit of glare. Sorry for the glare. Um, then you see my fight comics and then some more Soti books. And then here I'll kind of go through it. There's Torchy, my Doll Man collection, and then uh, Planet Comics, and then some more raw books underneath and then behind everything it, there's also comics like slabs and stuff so I'll show you some more doll man some torchy some fight and then in the middle it's like uh thunder the, just different ones i'm actually going to switch these out i'll change them up fairly often just to give a bit of variety but uh let's just move up and you can see my Jojo. I like the Jojo, so I put them there. And then we got my amazing Spider-Man. And sorry, there's a bit of glare because there's a light at the top. Um, but there's my uh, Strange Tales 110, and, uh, which is the first Doctor Strange. And then my Spider-Man, first appearance of Spider-Man and first Spider-Man issue. Then we got uh, first appearance of Thor and first Iron Man. First Hulk and first Green Hulk. <laughs> and then we got uh, 
uh, my Mr. Mystery. Uh, I really like that Golden Age uh, pre-coat horror cover. And then Crime Smashers. Again, some of these are going to get switched out. I'll put bigger books. But these are just really placeholders for now. I haven't really sorted out everything yet. We got some raw books. And then raw, more raw books. And it's like all my Planet comics. So you can see all my Planet comics along the there. There's actually way more Planet comics, but I just put a few out. And then some more raw books at the bottom. And then... Then I have another set of shelves, and it's like, uh, you can see all the comics that I put in front just to hide the comics that are in, in like boxes behind. And it goes all the way up. So you can see some Golden Age Wonder Woman, uh, some Tank Girl and Hensi, and then some Matt Baker and um, uh, Friday Foster, my Zombie Tramp, my some Golden Age uh, pre coat horror, like uh, and then my Wizard, then some Good Girl Vampirella and uh, very famous Adam Hughes cover there as well, and then just. This, as I said, this hasn't really been sorted out that much, but it's just, these are just placeholders. What I try to do, though, is um, put in books that will kind of semi-represent the ones that are in behind it. So, for example, like the Catman, well, there's like slabs in behind that are Golden Age. In behind um, the Planet comics, there's some more Planet comics there. I put in more Golden Age uh, in behind the, the Avengers and Spider-Man, or X-Men, I should say. There's X-Men slabs. <laughs> so it's kind of relevant. And, for example, like my first Daredevil, in behind there is all my Daredevil uh, and Spider-Man books. So and then we got my more up here, my Avengers and Wonder Woman. And then on this side, so I'm going to... It's a big room, actually. It's very long and like narrow we have all my slab boxes you'll see that there's three that are empty well i i'm actually they ha they're in another room where i'm organizing them i'm trying to get my long boxes to be a little bit more organized you can see i have a whole bunch of books that i'm kind of in the process of organizing on top <laughs> uh there's a you'll see that in a future unboxing the mickey mouse that's actually the first appearance of uh the three little pigs and then you'll see my Captain Britain. That's the first appearance of Psylocke. Uh, or actually, yeah, that's the first Psylocke. And then you'll see some more, another long box on top that I'm in the process of organizing. And then I'll just quickly pan over here again so you can see the way the room is laid out, just so that makes a bit of sense from this very strange <laughs> presentation. And then last but not least, is one more little room and you can see all of the boxes the way okay so if you count it's one two three four five high uh, yeah five high and it's just all all of these boxes are magazines um, except for these two boxes right there but um, they're my Warren collection. So if you if you do the math, it's you know you can see it's like uh, three wide, five high, two deep. So that's uh, like thirty boxes that are in there, <laughs> like of books. Uh, so just a huge collection of Warren publishing books. And then in that bag right there, which is a bit of a looks like a bit of a mess, that is all original art. So if I kind of zoom, come in here, you can see what I'm talking about. It's like original, original Vampirella art. So kind of a cool little space for all my Warren related items. Okay, so I'll close that. 
I will give you one last view of the room from this side. So you can see that those that's the wall that's behind me and you can see the little room over there. And there, there was a skylight, which I got blocked off <laughs> because I didn't want any light to be in this room. So when the doors are closed, when the door is closed, uh, there is no light in this room. It's just a very, very simple room. There's me. <laughs> and you can see there is windows, but we got the, I got those blocked off as well so that there's no light that comes into this room. And there's my stepladder so I can reach some of the higher shelves. And that's it. That's the room. So yeah, so <laughs> as I uh, show you my lamp. Um, so that's the room. I hope you enjoyed this quick little room tour. It, give, it gives you a sense of how the room is laid out a bit more. Um, I did promise that I was going to do this at some point. I figured, hey, this is a good time to, uh, good time as any to do this. Um, and you can see some of the stuff that I have in my room. Um, as I said, I haven't really put out my best slabs yet. Like I haven't really sort of worked out what, what slabs or wh where to kind of lay out certain books. Um, I kind of wanted to get my books organized first, which is taking me forever to do. They're in such messy, <laughs> messy order. Uh, it's, it's kind of frustrating because you know, I, I, there's so many books that I'm still looking for and I have no idea where they are. And I'm, and I, it's very frustrating for me to try to find things and, um, you know, I'm still at that point where I need to organize more. So, um, you know, once it's more organized, I'll redo the layout where I kind of have different books all around and um, I'll do a better room tour and I'll actually display a bit more. I'm actually thinking of um, putting books actually on the, ver like there's this weird wall, like ceiling, the way the ceiling is. I'm actually thinking, why not just have books just cover that wall? <laughs> like just. I just want to have more and more displayed because I like seeing my books. I, I'm, I'm like, I really love seeing them. I don't like them being hidden in, in the boxes. So um, I'm going to try to get more display. Um, that's something I'm working on. I'm trying to figure out ways of doing that. So you can see like even the Donald Duck that, that's up that way. Um, <laughs> I um, had that this tacked to the wall because I, I wanted to have it displayed. Um, yeah, I like that book. I think it's a cool book. Um, so yeah, so these are, this is what I'm working on. It's, it's, you know, it's a, it's a, it is a never ending project that I have, uh, with my comic room where I'm trying to make it much more interesting, much more exciting for everyone to see. I'm also going to, to uh, another thing. Um, you'll notice that some of the books are a little bit different than the others in terms of the bags used. I'm actually going to switch out most of the bags that I use for the comics behind me so that when I'm on camera you can see the comics a lot better like most of them it's really hard to see the comics and they're really just some of them are really amazing covers so I kind of want to switch out the bags do things like that to you know make it just display a bit better um, and the way I actually didn't show this but <laughs> the way I have them locked in is the is the worst possible way what I, what I did is I literally took scotch tape and taped them into position so that they won't fall. Um, because when I first did it, like they, they're, they almost fit perfectly where they can stay on their own without any kind of extra uh, support. But uh, there's just enough. There's like a millimeter of space that allows them to kind of pop in. But that same millimeter of space allows them to pop out just as easily. Um, so I, I, I have to put tape just to make sure that they don't fall over. Uh, because when I first did it, one did fall on my head. <laughs> so it was, it was kind of funny. Um, so yeah, that's, that's the display. Um, I hope you enjoy it. I, um, appreciate all the people that watch my videos. And, um, if you have a question that you want to be, have answered, uh, or if you want me to show any particular books, um, just put it in the comments below and I'll do my best to answer your questions. Thanks again for watching. Bye for now.